So multiplying certs is incredibly easy. Let me show you how to do it. So we're going to speed run this explanation. Root 11 times root 7, very simple. Multiply the things inside the certs. So root 11 times 7 is root 77. Check your answer. Can you simplify that? No, you can't. Let's move on. All right, in this one here, it's slightly different because there's numbers on the outside. Multiply the numbers on the outside together, 5 times 8, and multiply the numbers on the inside together. So 5 times 8 is 40, and 3 times 5 is 15. Can we simplify that? Can we simplify that? No, we can't. Okay, let's move on. Root 5 times root 10. Again, multiply the things on the inside, 5 times 10. That's root 50. Can we simplify that? Yes, we can. Root 50 is the same as 25 times 2, which is the same as 5 root 2. Okay, don't forget to simplify it at the end. Let's make some space. 6 root 12 times 2 root 6. Multiply the things on the outside together. 6 times 2 is 12. And multiply the things on the inside together. 12 times 6 is 72. Can we simplify 72? Yes, I believe we can. 36 times 2. So the 36 comes out as 6. 12 times 6 is uh, 72. And we're left with root 2. All right, last one. All right, so we have 3 fifths root 70 times 1 quarter root 10. Multiply the things on the outside by each other and multiply the things on the inside by each other. Uh, 3 fifths times 1 quarter, multiply top by the top, bottom by the bottom. We get 3 over 20 and root 700. Can we simplify that? Yes, we can. 3 over 20. 100 times 7, the 10 comes out here, we end up with 3 over 20 times 10, which is 30 over 20, root 7, and 30 over 20, simplified that, 3 over 2, root 7. Now, of course, because you're a curious person, you're wondering, okay, great, I can see what the rule is, I guess, but why does it work? And the answer is always, thirds are indices, and that's why it works. So, we know an index law. a, b to the m equals a to the m times b to the m. That's one of our index laws. Now, to make it specific to thirds, instead of m's, we've got halves. a, b to the half equals a to the half, b to the half. And to make it even more specific to thirds, Instead of halves, we can write the halves as square roots. So the square root of AB is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B. And that's the rule. That's the rule we were just following. If we've got a square root and we multiply it by another square root, the answer will be the thing in the first square root times the thing in the second square root. We were just using this rule in that direction. It's also the same rule we've been using to simplify things. We've been taking a number, we've been looking at this, we've been breaking it into A and B, one of which is a square number, and then we go from there. So, thirds are indices. I feel like a broken record saying this over and over again, but hopefully you understand. I don't want you to learn a bunch of new stuff. I just want you to take the old stuff you had and apply it to this uh, new idea. That's it.